Hello Sexy, welcome along to another scrapbook. We're changing the format. Basically, I'm going to be here more sort of peppered throughout and much less than I usually am at the end. That's basically what's happening. Welcome along. This is September. It's going to be exciting. What a treat for you. Shall we start at the start? Yes, we shall. On the 1st of September, my friends Holly, Katie and Zach moved into a new house and I filmed it. I'm just saying goodbye to this room. Look at this room. We've had some great times in this room. And now it's goodbye. <laughs> she couldn't care less. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> Darling wants me to sit here. <laughs> I've made you a seat. <laughs> Just don't press that, yeah? Just don't press it. I won't, darling. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> it's very dark. Christ. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How was your journey, sir? Satisfactory? <laughs> it's very warm. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Darling's new house and Zach. New house and also Catch is not here and also James. Like the living room at the moment. I really like this layout. This is very. Good. How about this? Look at the mirror that we found in Catherine's room. Oh. Like Statement. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Hello, Hello, darling. <laughs> Best part of Darling's room. Oh, the main bag. The precious. Yes. Yes. Oh. Kathy's moving out too. I really love that you're helping, it's hilarious. <laughs> Hello Kathy. Hi. An actual box of shit. Yay. <laughs> well, that's it. See you then. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Are we nearly there? How was your trip? <laughs> it was okay. There's cap boxes. <laughs> I'm going to predict those boxes will still be there in November. <laughs> when does the pen I'm going to empty one in my bed every week. <laughs> Can you help me start my wardrobe? Oh, fucking hell. I'm going home. There's no instructions. So, just guessing. Oh, no. are we, are we keeping this money? Apparently, you're not. If only you have an extra pair of hands. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help. You've done it now, Kath, that's enough. Great, I'm going to go sit down. <laughs> They're all moved in. Cool. Just been making a wardrobe. How long? How long? For too long. Honestly, that bloody wardrobe was an absolute nightmare. Anyway, very soon after they moved out, we decided that it would be a really great, sort of convenient time for them to just take a weekend trip to Manchester. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, let's just chance. give it a second. <laughs> It's just not happening, is it? <laughs> oh, it's oh, oh. Yeah, thanks, I think we should be on this Blurry. Side, though, We're coming soon. We'll, be, we'll yeah. be here soon. What if I move quickly, though? Oh, well, you'll ruin everything, <laughs> won't you? <laughs> Rob, where are we? I don't know. I'm not doing the directions, though. You have to say where we are. Oh, we're in Manchester. <laughs> the tram. <laughs> Darling, we're in Manchester. Yeah, we're late. <laughs> we're late for our Airbnb appointment. Airbnb. We've been very good, we didn't buy any meat. We weren't allowed. <laughs> yeah, but we could have cheated. Like what? Chicken Just anything, and really. Breakfast. Or we could have bought, like, a packet of salami. A little salami I'm, snack. I reckon she's going to go for our bags. Darling, is this the right road? Yeah. What's it called? We're here. New home again, another new home. This is a balcony, second one this week. Ducky, <laughs> <laughs> how do you like this new home? I like it better. Rob, this is fucking amazing. 
<laughs> Look at this. Look like how easy that I could kill myself. Oh, dude, please. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear that, viewers? How nasty our Thanks friends are us of you. What's this? Sushi, why are you watching me? Is it allowed? He <laughs> wasn't very clear. He gave no specific rules about fish. <laughs> you should come out this side and have a look at the Look at my sushi. It's being decimated, oh absolutely God. decimated. They sell 110,000 cups. God, fuck. Pounds, I call them pounds. 110,000. Oh, well, this is an absolute <laughs> nightmare, isn't it? Because they destroyed everything. Tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> they sell 19,000 chickens. <laughs> chickens. Chicken. 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 Like, like tomatoes, chicken and tomatoes. <laughs> food. No. Sorry to hear that, Rob. I'm distraught. <laughs> There's some pants in mine and Kath's room. He's really waving them around, right? Purple pants. We're <laughs> <laughs> having a great time in Manchester. Yep, it's out there. Zooming outside. It's raining. Yeah, so that just came in here like it's fine to wake us up. It's absolutely fine. Lied and said it was one o'clock. You got a bit panicked. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't want to wake up. Did you actually think it was one o'clock? Despite the fact that it is now half past one and it's still in the same position. Okay. Can't me up now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why don't we go? I don't know, we left so quickly. <laughs> Zaki, how are you feeling about your lack of coat? Well, I don't know. I feel like a stranger in a strange land. I did warn you about the rain. Yes, I should have listened to Jake, Michael Fish, Graham. Thank you. Hello, <laughs> darling. Rob, are you, are you happy to hear? Very pleased. I've got a real chair and everything. He's older. No, wait for it, wait for it. Um, body type, muscular. <laughs> Let's have a look, shall we? So that's where Manchester ended. Nothing else happened in Manchester. I can assure you of that. I wouldn't lie to you. Um, I've been to a few gigs um, in this month. One of them was Pup. It looked a bit like this. Great 
great gig, great band, look out for Pop, download their album, Pop are a great band, I promise you, I just didn't film much, because it was all very raucous, hard to film when it's so raucous. Then I went to another gig, and this gig was more important. It's a lady called Grace Petrie, I love her, she's a left-wing protest singer, and sometimes being super left-wing and supporting Jeremy Corbyn can feel a little bit lonely, and it makes you feel a little bit like, am I really stupid for supporting him? And then when you go and see someone like Grace Petrie, and you're surrounded by like-minded people, it makes you feel part of a community. But I don't really want to go on and on about politics loads all the time. I don't think this is the place for politics really, but I need to dedicate a bit of time to Corbyn in this month particularly. So I think rather than me going on about it, I'm going to leave it up to Grace Petrie. Here's Grace. And I've been, I've been introducing this song for five years on stage by saying this. I've been saying, I believe that there are more good guys than bad guys in the world, right? And this summer I learned that I was wrong to say that, right? But I don't mean it in the way that you think I mean it. I learned that actually that was a stupid and simplistic and divisive way of looking at the world. There is no such thing as good guys and bad guys. I believe there is more good than bad in this country in general. I believe there's more good than bad in the world in general. And I believe that actually if you tell people solidly for 30 years that they should fear each other because we're all in competition with each other there's not enough to go around. You will get to a place where everybody's fucking scared and angry and fighting and looking after looking after number one and nothing else, right? So it's not surprising that we find ourselves in this position. But and I don't know like the way forward, like nothing has demoralized me more in my entire political life than what's happened with the Labour Party this summer. I think it's heartbreaking and despairing, right? And it's not necessarily about Jeremy Corbyn. I know a lot of people have lost faith in Jeremy Corbyn. I know a lot of people on the left never have faith in him in the first place. But I don't actually think it's about him as a person. I think for the first time in my life, I'm 29, and for the first time in my entire life, a mainstream politician came along who was offering the politics of hope instead of the politics of fear. And I'd never seen that before in my life. Right? <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen now. I don't know, like, I know he's going to win this next election, but I don't know if the party's going to let him lead. I don't know, like, what the future of the Labour Party holds. I don't know what the future of this country holds. I don't know what the future of America holds. I, like, I absolutely agree with you that, like, 2016 looks like a pretty fucking scary time. But I do know that the way forward out of all of this, I don't know in what form it's going to take, but I'm so sure in my bones that it has to be about hope and not fear. So that's what my manifesto is going to be, and I'm going to try and bring hope to the stages that I'm playing on from now on. Thank you very much for coming out tonight. This is called the <laughs> You're not my brother nor my country man. Not my sister or my friend. But you're my comrade, be so till the last. They shall not pass. They shall not pass. Now blood is running through the streets of Spain. And London grits in fear. Oh, smell of gunfire, sound of breaking glass You shall not pass, you shall not pass Why fight the good fight, fight the good fight Why not let them go? I dread the day when the suffering of my fellow is known I will not turn against my brother for his creed or for his colour, nor the one he takes his lover or his class. You that beckon me that way you shall not pass. And you who speak of ideology, who speak of people like their thoughts, whose motives lie in frosted glass, you shall not you shall not pass In the name now of humanity Don't let no right, no black, no white Tear that fascist flag now from its mast It shall not pass, it shall not pass Why fight the good fight, fight the good fight Why not let them burn? I dread the day when the suffering of my fellow is not Turn against my brother 
for his creed or for his colour, nor the one he'd sex his lover or his class. You that beckon me, that way you shall not pass. We choose our lovers or our class Those that beckon us That way they shall not pass Labour is a party brimming full of ideas Of talent, of creativity And so is this country Unleashing that potential Is the job of all of us Let us work together for real change in Britain. Thank you very much. So there was that. Hooray. Um, next up, me, Holly and Katie went on a little um, sort of weird theatre experience where we had to run around London and do weird stuff with headphones on. You can't really hear any of the headphone stuff because it was going in my ears. It's not available. I can't play it to you. But you can sort of see what we're up to if I play you clips here. we ended the day in a pub dancing to the gossip perfect way to end any day slash evening now my mother turned 50 years old in august and i didn't film it because i didn't see her there were no weekends where we were both free to celebrate it so i set aside a weekend in september and said come up and um, that's when you will receive your present of a london extravaganza um, and i took her out and we went to uh to sketch for breakfast we went to the british library to the punk exhibition we went to the bermondsey street festival um market thing uh, we went to see the woman in black at the theater and we finished the day um with dinner in the sky garden and it was lovely and it was really nice to see her um here is what we got up to <laughs> <laughs> this is part one of Mother's special day. Food is Let's take a lovely picture. We're in the British Library. <laughs> We went to the punk exhibition, do you see? I didn't know if I could film stuff in there. There was a man looking around and I didn't. He was scared. I thought he was going to tell me off. Oh. Sitting on the chair. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Hi.
nothing. The 1966 book. Haha, uh -huh, the 1966 book. The year of your birth. Yes. That's why we're here. <laughs> because it was very long ago. <laughs> she kisses him on Bermondsey Street and rises high on the balls of her feet. Declares this the greatest love of the century He fumbles for a wedding ring She's no, no clone from Vogue magazine She is complex in all her complexion Love is here to heal And I'm so proud of you But now you must Take pride with what this love you do Regardless of religion Braver than any faith No fear of society Evolves you and me We're in the interval. <laughs> Not allowed to film inside, are we? <laughs> but we might just be naughty, mightn't we? Shitting <laughs> <laughs> uh, myself, aren't I? <laughs> We're watching the woman in black <laughs> here at the Fortune Theatre. Didn't like the toilets either, did I? <laughs> <laughs> A woman. Small toilets, shitty small toilets. They actually were. <laughs> woman had a poo in the toilet in front of mother. <laughs> <laughs> actually, in front of me. Oh, hang on, I can't wait for the toilet. <laughs> It's too much of a queue! <laughs> I'm just going to do it here! <laughs> Actually in front of me! <laughs> it wasn't pleasant. <laughs> As you can imagine. <laughs> oh dear. In front of mother. <laughs> He's <laughs> 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 overcome. <laughs> Shouldn't have very professional feel. <laughs> <laughs> He's crying. <laughs> God, it's not that scary. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> we're, at, we're at the Sky Garden. Here I am with the liar. <laughs> the point where I liar. I told you you lie all the time. Told me, told me there was not much walking, didn't he? <laughs> there was more walking than I anticipated. I've though. got blisters on my big toes and little toes. <laughs> Thanks to the liar. <laughs> London, did you have to take my child away? You buried him under rent and low pay. I've been cycling in circles round your empty streets. I've been searching in the
having a, a pudding for her cocktail to start with. <laughs> oh dear. I'm liking the bread though. I've got some flowers in my drink. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and there's, this is our lovely view. I've, I've got the curtains <laughs> behind me. <laughs> I've got the nice curtains on the pole. <laughs> I'm eating things that I don't even know what, what they are. <laughs> Bone marrow. Mm. Oh, look at the glasses. <laughs> it's because I can't see what I'm eating. She had to put her glasses on because she can't see her bone marrow. <laughs> can't see the bone marrow and the eel. <laughs> Mm. Here's mine. It's very delicious. Things are hotting up outside, the lights are on. Still the curtains for me though. <laughs> There's mother's chocolate, what's it called? Marquise. Chocolate Marquise with lime ice cream. Mint ice cream. Mint <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> Get that one. This is my artlet. <laughs> artlet? Art, is it artlet? I don't know. It's artlet. <laughs> Look at it. Isn't it nice? I have learned how it goes. What you wait for, never shows. What you least wanted. You down like a stone, just like a stone. So now I feed the birds day after day, only they can hear me pray for a lighter heart and I. You'd be right. Bye then, Jake. Thanks very much. Oh, they got to get enough of them, too. Look at them, young lovers. Bye. Bye, So that's it, really. Thanks for watching. I sort of didn't film as much stuff as usual, but I filmed a lot when I did film, you know what I mean? I think that's the way to go with this. I think less filming of just cinema trips and stuff like that, because that's not the stuff you want to remember. Comment below whether you agree with this new format or if you want it to go back to the old one, because I will happily do either. Anyway, whatever you think, thanks for watching, and I will see you next month.